recognize that piece? It's familiar to you, but you just don't know the name. Today we're going to be looking at 10 different pieces that are so well known, many of which you probably don't know their name. But before we begin, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to Learn and Love Music and to like it. So let's get started with the top 10. Do you know that piece? It's by a Russian composer, and it's based on some paintings in a museum in Russia. It's Modest Mussorgsky's Pictures in an Exhibition. This is the promenade movement, and it's, a, it's someone walking through a museum. And this music appears all the way through the whole piece as we go from painting to painting. So that's why they call this piece the promenade. composer. It's about love and it's very, very romantic. It is Liebestrom number three by Franz Liszt. flat major. It has a beautiful lilting to it, very typical of Viennese composers. It sort of has a one, two, three. It's, it's really lovely. This is just a small, small piece. It became very, very well known. Originally it was written as a piano forehand piece for two people sitting at one piano, but later on it became a solo piano piece. and it was written at a time when that particular country was trying to become free from another country. Kind of like the Star Spangled Banner in a way, United States. Who is it and what is the piece? It's Jean Sibelius, Finnish composer, and it's called Finlandia, and it is a patriotic song from the country of Finland.
heard that piece before. It's really familiar. There's even a kind of a popular tune in there you might even recognize. It sounds like I'm always chasing rainbows, maybe? This is Chopin's most famous piece, the Fantasy Impromptu in C-sharp minor. The piece was composed early in Chopin's life, probably in his early 20s, and he didn't like it because he realized it sounded too much like Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. So, and also there, there were some other parts that were very, very familiar. So he threw it out, or he, it's called Opus Posthumus. He wrote the piece and didn't have it published. And in fact, it wasn't published until after his death. It became one of the most famous piano pieces of all time. Archer Rubinstein championed this piece. It's a great, wonderful piece of music. Do you know it? It's by a Russian composer, and it is a prelude, so that tells you a little bit more about it. It's Rachmaninoff's prelude in C-sharp minor. This was made famous on his concert tours, Rachmaninoff's concert tours of the United States around 1898, and it became immediately popular to the point where whenever he went to play a concert, for encores, the audience would scream at the top of their lungs, C-sharp, play the C-sharp. This is in C-sharp minor. Rachmaninoff, C-sharp minor prelude. <laughs> introspective, and it reminds us of nighttime. That would mean it would have to be a nocturne. And if it was a nocturne, most likely would be the most famous nocturne composer, and that would be Chopin. And this is his most famous nocturne, the nocturne opus 9, number 2, and it's played a lot. Students love to play this piece, and professional musicians love to play this piece. It is a fantastic nocturne.
a piece, a very familiar piece, and it was written around 1799, and after the composer composed this piece, he said, I don't like this piece anymore because so many people play it badly. Well, the reason people were playing it badly is that it was so popular that everyone wanted to play it. This is Beethoven's Sonata Pathétique, Pathétique Sonata, Opus 13, first movement. What is that piece? Another very familiar one, and like some of the other pieces, it has a similar title. This is a prelude. This was a set of pieces, a set of preludes written by the French composer. Who is it? Claude Debussy. And what is the piece? The Girl with the Flaxen Hair. Probably the most famous of the 24 preludes that Debussy wrote. cartoons, or classical piece that used on cartoons, than any other piece. 
it is a rhapsody. It doesn't exactly sound like a rhapsody, it's like a wild romp. It is Franz Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody No. 2, most famous piece in classical repertoire. It actually was written for orchestra as well. I hope you enjoyed this Learn Love Music episode looking at 10 different pieces that are really, really popular and well-known. You didn't know the names of many of them, possibly, but now you do. Hope to see you next time on Learn and Love Music.